to define an expert is subjective and i've heard a whole lot of different definitions of what an expert is one of those ones that stood out to me is by blair Enns, who defines an expert as somebody who knows how to ask the right questions the more i thought about this the more it made sense because I do remember my early days as a brand new freelance web designer, I used to ask very basic questions like, what kind of websites do you like? What colors do you like? What font styles do you like? That was pretty much it. But then with time and experience and working with higher level clients, I began to learn how to ask the right kind of questions that allowed me to be more effective in the value I delivered. Also, the questions that I learned how to ask my clients helped me to understand their pain points or problems, what direction to go in, how to make our project far more successful, but then also how to out position myself from my competition. And I want to share with you five questions that I ask all of my clients. And these questions, if you start to use them, you're going to start to position yourself more as an expert as well. Question number one, why now? And this has to probably be the most important question out of all of them. Why now? What happened to make you want to build a website right now? There is a pain point in there. There is a problem that needs to be solved. And a lot of the times the client comes to us and only gives us the surface details of why they want to build a website. But when we open up that line of questioning that starts with the why now, we start to dig in a little bit deeper and understand what are the real pain points the client is having. And when we understand those pain points, we know what direction to go in and what kind of solutions we need to apply. We start to learn where we need to put our focus in with this client. We have to understand that when a client chooses to build a website, it is kind of a stressful process it's also a very costly one something has happened to make them want to spur action into investing not just finances but time and energy into this if they are a brand new business maybe they have been thinking about building this business for a while but then they got motivation from some source and we want to find that source why they have the motivation now to go in and invest and start in their business. And if they already have an existing website, well, that website has probably been working for them, but there is a pain point, a problem within their business that made them make this decision that now is the time we need to fix this problem so we could improve. So by asking why now, we're not just asking them about their website, understand what is going on inside their business so that way we could help them with their business question number two what does a successful project look like this question is a fantastic question because every single time i ask it it always makes a client pause in their tracks and start to think and often i get the client responding back with wow that is a good question by asking this question what a successful project looks like it helps me to understand what is the client's expectations and what is their vision? What is most important to them? I don't know if this has happened to you. It's happened to me where I talk to a client. I think I understand the project. I think I understand the scope of work that is needed for the project. The connection is there. Everything is sounding good. So I go out, write a proposal, send the proposal to the client. And then their response is, this is way too little we were expecting something a lot more i think you did not understand exactly what we wanted to build and then on a follow-up call with the client we find out that yes indeed their vision was much bigger i was thinking something more basic they were thinking something very grandiose something far more complex that required a much bigger budget and a lot more time so by asking this question of what a successful project looks like we are understanding the client's expectations and also their vision also often when asking this question the clients are going to let us know what they are expecting from the agency sometimes they are expecting the agency to guide them through a lot of different processes. Sometimes they are expecting communication in a certain way. They have certain expectations, but we don't know those until we start to ask the questions, start to learn how to ask the follow-up questions and get a better understanding of our client. 
Question number three, how do you plan to drive traffic to your website? This question is an absolute must to ask to any of your web design clients. Every client, you need to ask this question because this question right here is going to tell us where our clients are at with their marketing. How do they plan to drive traffic to the website? We could build them the best website and it is just a tool for their business, but how are they going to use that tool? I find when I ask this question to a client, I get one of three common responses. Response number one is we are thinking about doing social media, we're thinking about doing SEO, and we plan to do that later on in the future, which means they have done some research, they understand marketing is going to be needed, which is fantastic. But what this also does is it positions us to let the client know that we could also help with other areas. Like not only can we build your website, but we could also help you with your SEO. We could help you with your digital marketing. And this is going to be great for you if you want to expand your freelance business or your agency. This is the reason why I created my course, The Ultimate SEO for WordPress. I know, shameless plug, but really, this is the reason why that course was created. It was for us web designers, web developers, web creators, freelancers, agency owners who aren't these SEO experts, but to learn and have the tools to deliver SEO services to our clients. The same goes with digital marketing. There are ways that we could do it with partnerships and other ways that we could actually help the clients out, but this is how we grow. And if you are beginning to offer these services or already do offer additional services for your clients, if you don't let them know or position yourself as somebody who can deliver these for your clients they won't know they might hire you for their website but then go to somebody else to help them out with their seo and digital marketing another common response i get from clients when i ask them about driving traffic to their site is that they haven't thought about it yet they don't know and then they usually ask, do you have any advice on this? And this is where I got to give them a heart to heart talk and tell them the truth. I have to let them know that the marketing has to be the most important part of their business because it's the most important part of any business. Without any marketing, the business is going to fail. And the last thing that I want to do is to build a website, put all my time, energy, love and care into this website, make it super dope only to have it fail or to talk to this client and build a relationship with this client and see them fail. I care about my clients. I remember one of my early projects and this is in my first year, I created a website and it was by far the best that I have done. I was so proud of it. My client, she was just a wonderful, wonderful person. And I, I wanted to go extra above and beyond for her because she was just such a good person. And we created the website. It came out looking wonderful. She was very happy. I was very happy. I felt really proud. And it was one of my highlights. But then six months later, we crossed paths. And I was so excited to ask her, how is it going? How is your website? And then when I did ask her, the only way I could describe this is a look of sadness came over her face. And her energy and tone changed. And she said, I haven't received any business from it yet. I haven't got a single lead from it yet. And I remember at that moment, I never wanted to feel that way because I felt crushed. I did not help my client. Now I know our responsibility as web designers is to design and build something awesome for our clients. But if we really care about our clients and want to be more than just an order taker, and if we want to partner with our clients, add more value and work with higher level clients and be looked at as a higher level creative, then we have to think differently. So this is why this question for me is an absolute must. Now, really quick, a third response that I often get from this question is that the client will already tell me that they have a marketing department or a marketing agency. They are already growing. They are already, they've already been through all of it. They know what they're doing. And when I get this response from a client, what I want to follow up with them is letting them know I would like to be connected with their marketing team. That way we could collaborate and we could all be on the same page working for our client and making sure that they succeed. And now questions number four and five, these are aimed more for clients with existing websites. With question number four, 
what don't you like about your current site? I usually follow up this question with something like, if you were to do anything different on your current site, what would you have done differently? Or what do you like on your current site? Like, what do you like and what don't you like? Basically, what I'm trying to find out are the problems with their site. I wanna find out what to avoid, what solutions to apply, make sure we don't repeat the same problems, but make sure that we fix those problems and that way we could highlight it. Question number five, why not work with your last developers or agency? I love asking this question. Again, I want to know the problems they had in the past. So not only do we not repeat those problems, but that way too, I could overcome objections that the clients might have. The client probably had a bad experience in one way or another. Could have been just one that didn't work out well, but they're probably more cautious now when they are choosing their agency or freelancer to work with and understanding what went wrong will allow us to counter any objections the client has had but you can find your own solution that's the reason why we need to ask these questions so when they let you know the problems they had with the last developer or agency then you could go ahead and quickly let them know you're not gonna have that problem with me and here is why. So you're already countering those objections up front. I love questions four and five because they help me to make sure that I build that good relationship with the client, that they are just blown away with our partnership and that we build a long-term relationship. Okay, now how to start asking these types of questions and I'm gonna keep it honest and real with you. It was not easy for me. It took a whole lot of uncomfortable practices i had to practice over and over and over and the way that i started is by creating an outline for every single meeting that i would go into with every lead that i got with every new client and i still create these outlines to this day i would create it and i would put a list of questions not many keep the questions less than 10 we don't want to turn this into an interview but i would break up the meeting and i would outline it that way i could follow it and then as i am having the call with the client i would get stuck at times i would get nervous i would get shy by nature i am an introvert and this did not come naturally for me not at all not at all it's a great feeling when you have that call and everything goes so smoothly and then you get the feedback from the client saying wow I talked to other agencies and none of them asked these kind of questions. None of them were able to help me understand the project and, and to see things this way. You get that kind of feedback. Once you do, you know that all that uncomfortable work that you did has paid off and it is paying off. So that would be my suggestion. Create your outline, walk through it, let it be uncomfortable. Give yourself a break because you're going to mess it up a lot. It doesn't happen right off the bat. But if you keep doing it, you are going to get better. And then you're going to start landing bigger clients. You're going to start to be able to charge higher prices. You're going to start to be seen more as an expert and not some order taker. And that is how asking the right questions positions us in front of our clients as more of an expert all right i know this video was a bit different from a lot of my regular tutorial videos i've been wanting to do this for quite some time to be honest this is what i love doing i love helping other freelancers other agency owners other designers and developers part of helping is learning skills and acquiring those skills so i'm going to continue to keep doing my regular youtube tutorials with wordpress elementor and bricks and other tools as well but I also want to shake it up and I want to do something for us freelancers and agency owners as well. And if you do find that this is helpful, please let me know inside the comments. Getting that kind of feedback is really going to help out. And if I get a lot of good feedback, I'm going to continue to creating videos like this. I got so much that I want to share from my journey of building my agency. It is a beautiful journey. It's a fun journey, but it's also a roller coaster it's a whole lot of ups and downs and by being able to share all that i believe i could help others to make that roller coaster just a little bit smoother well that's it for this video like always you know the good youtube stuff please like and subscribe to support this channel and if you have any questions or need any help about how to ask the right questions to your clients let me know inside the comments i'm going to get back to everybody and i'm really happy to help well thank you for watching i will see you inside the next one